people who want to find an excuse will will give it will give him an excuse but most people looking at this will say that's simply ridiculous it's a bit of a joke it makes him look foolish pumping gas practically everyone's done it but most people don't have 20 cameras in their face as they try to capitalize on a photo opportunity alberta's premier jason kenney going viral after a press event friday where he announced the temporary removal of the province's gas tax and he fumbled with the gas nozzle he couldn't get it out of his symbolic blue pickup truck and that video was viewed by hundreds of thousands of people this is a guy who likes to present himself as an everyman and certainly as a kind of, uh, particularly as a Westerner, you know, he loves to, as part of his performative politics, dress up in a cowboy hats and boots and drive around in a pickup truck. But I think the expression is, uh, if you don't know how to fill up your own pickup truck, the expression is they are all hat and no horse. Alberta's no stranger to awkward photo op disasters. In 2012, former Wild Rose leader Danielle Smith's campaign bus had a photo of her just over the back tires. Many thought it was unfortunate placement, with Smith at the time joking that it turned heads. But consultant Clive Veroni compares Kenny's flub here to that of a former Tory in the 1974 federal election. Conservative leader Robert Stanfield uh, was tossing a football around one day and fumbled the catch and it was caught by cameras and made it onto the front page of just about every newspaper in the country. And many people say that that picture of him fumbling the football may have cost him the election. Veroni says he doesn't expect this to necessarily cost Kenny an election or the leadership review, but he does predict it'll give him a negative image, maybe lose him some votes. These kinds of images of leaders fumbling have more impact than any number of policy announcements. Mail-in ballots will be sent out this weekend with the results of Kenny's leadership review expected sometime mid-May. In Edmonton, Safe Kaiser, City News.